This is my second celebrity shout-out video for Mental Health Awareness Month uh, of May uh, 2021. And this one is to Grant Gustin from CW's Flash. Um, I am a big fan of superheroes. Uh, superhero TV shows and superhero movies. I've been since I was a kid. And um, I am kind of a Johnny-come-lately on The Flash. I have to admit that. Um, but I watched... Uh, I was trying to cut down on my TV, and I watched um, Legends and Supergirl, but I liked The Flash and the crossover. And before the big crisis on Infinite Earths event, I watched The Flash, and then I realized, what have I been missing? And so, uh, over the past year, I've watched all uh, six and uh, now the seventh season. And there is something about the Flash and your portrayal of him. He has humanity, humor, um, he's an all-American who can take on anything. And I was Googling um, you and I found an article in uh, I think it was Entertainment uh, Weekly that you suffer and struggle with anxiety. And I have struggled with anxiety all my life. And, but I also believe that performing arts is a great way to get your voice. And I am using a book called uh, Super Better, um, Regina Gonigal, uh, as part of my therapy. And there's a chapter of finding your secret identity. And you have to pick... Um, television characters, historical figures, etc., who inspire you. And I picked The Flash. Your Flash. Um, you're loyal. Like I said, you're strong. Uh, I mean, the character is loyal. The character is strong. Has a good sense of humor. A good leader. Everything I would want to be. That week was the first episode that introduced Psych. I, I don't know, I know it's a coincidence, but that when, while I was battling and trying to create my own superhero, Max the Mental Health Warrior, finding out, seeing you battle psych, battle fear, battle nightmares, and people with anxiety and depression, that's kind of what you're living. You're living with kind of a living nightmare all the time, and... Uh, I can emphasize with anxiety ruling your stomach because, I mean, I've had like several digestive issues because of my anxiety. And then after this, researching you and finding out that you were a lot like me and that the performing arts helped get you through it. I mean, even you busted through the anxiety, the audition anxiety. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm not an actor. Because I'm terrified of auditions. Um, uh, I, I, that's why I love improv. Because you don't have to worry about lines. Um, but the reason why I'm making these videos is I have a dream. I have a dream of a series of performing arts clubs across the nation. For teens with mental illness. Where teens who struggle but who have a ken for acting, poetry, music, comedy, can meet together, share their craft, learn from each other, learn from performers with lived experience, put on shows, find their voice to the performance arts, and show that mental illness is nothing to be afraid of or to stigmatize. And I'm starting it here in Madison, Wisconsin, my city, but... My dream is, like I said, for these clubs to pop up in cities all across America. Maybe one in Norfolk, Virginia, where you grew up. And to have benefits, concerts, where you'd have these teens performing with possibly celebrities who have come and at their old high schools. I mean, imagine the power that would be to teens who are currently struggling, who believe there is no hope. Now, I, my anxiety is making this dream very difficult. 
Because to make something like this, I have to contact people. I have to call people. I, I have to send emails. I have to ask for help. And the fear of rejection is always there. But it's so easy to let your fears and your anxieties hold you down and control you. And, I mean, Bashir, I'm psych today. Uh, 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 today is uh, May 18th. He was letting his anger and his disappointment consume him. And the still force used it to make him do some terrible things. And you talked him out of it. I mean, not you. I mean, I know you're an actor portraying a character. But, and I just, I if you would have any advice about how to make this dream a reality, I mean, if you would, I'm actually having a benefit show uh, at East High School uh, in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, uh, the uh, first Friday, the uh, second Friday in October, which is uh, Mental Health um, Awareness Week. If you'd be able to um, make a video or do something for it, I would be very, very grateful. Um, I mean, even, uh, I've been raising money. I, I raised, uh, so far, uh, uh, $450, um, toward this. And, um, because I want to make this a reality. I want to make this group a reality by, uh, uh, by October. Um, anyway, I, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate your work, uh, on The Flash. And that you are a fellow anxiety sufferer. But you made your dream come true. And uh, so I just wanted to shout out and thank you. And I really can't wait to see how you're going to deal with the... For how the Flash, Barry, is going to deal with uh, the, for uh, the forces, particularly uh, Nora the Speed Force. And I'm going to end it with, I have to have a mantra. Uh, Super Better says, get a mantra. And I love run, Barry, run. So mine is fight, Max, fight. Fight the anxiety, fight the depression. Don't let it ruin my dreams. Don't let it prevent me from doing what I want and need to do. So thank you for being an inspiration. Take care.